Next, we're going to move laterally and examine the patient's lateral meniscus and lateral collateral ligament. Some important landmarks, we're going to hold the transducer with the notch facing superiorly. An important landmark on the patient is the fibular head. I'm going to palpate the fibular head and place the transducer so that the bottom edge of the transducer is in contact with the patient's fibular head, and that should give us a direct view of the lateral meniscus. It's important to keep your image at the center of the screen to get the best view. Here we can see the patient's lateral meniscus. Overlying the meniscus is the lateral collateral ligament, which we'll look at next. The meniscus appears as a wedge-shaped structure with a homogeneous pattern throughout. A tear may show dark patterns within the meniscus, as well as fluid leaking into the surrounding joint space. If we suspect meniscal trauma, sometimes we'll use color Doppler and see if there's an acute inflammation or significant injury demonstrated. To do this, I activate color Doppler, and if there was any acute trauma, once the probe is stabilized and not moving, we'd see increased vascular activity, which we do not. An additional feature that we may be able to do is to zoom in on a structure. To do this, I'll press zoom, center over the desired region, and press zoom again. And now I've seen a blown up image of the patient's lateral meniscus as well as the surrounding lateral collateral ligament, which is a band seen to the top of the screen. Again, seeing a homogeneous image of the meniscus with no indication of tearing. The next structure to image lies just above the lateral meniscus, which is the lateral collateral ligament. Maintain the transducer in the superior position with the notch facing towards the patient's head. An important landmark is the fibular head. I like to keep the fibular head in the center of the transducer beneath it, which will allow me to visualize the distal attachment of the lateral collateral ligament. Here we can see fibers of the lateral collateral ligament attaching on the fibular head. Next, what we do is trace this lateral collateral ligament up to its attachment on the lateral femoral condyle. We follow the lateral collateral ligament as it continues to pass above the condyle and eventually will taper back onto the epicondyle. 